Drago, right? Alright. So, um... What do you think of this matchup? Uh, Lucina Sheik. Um... Pretty much in Sheik's favor. Unless, of course, somehow Poyo can at least beat him out in neutral, which I doubt. Well, Poyo, he's really been working on this Lucina lately. I see. Um, very... Uh, I'm terrified of it right now. Um, Osiris also, he's, um, you know, been known as the best Falco in the re region. Um, picked up Sheik almost, I, I would probably say over a year ago now. Um, and I don't know who he's beaten with the Sheik. I'm sure he's gotten a few good wins. Um, but, yeah, uh, taking it to Smashville, and we're having you know, a fairly close game at the moment. Yeah. Um, just kind of back and forth, um, stray hits here and there. Not and really back and land any kills or anything. We haven't had any like two big combos yet. All right, so she got 92, definitely kill percent. <laughs> but uh, see, I I, ne I never take Sheik's to Smashville. It's just oh, oh wow, that's wow, that's smash over the ledge. Cause she can kill really easy off the sides. Yeah. Um. Or at least I try not to take her to Smashville. Thing is, with Sheik, like, a lot of the stages are good for her. Yeah, like, that is true. Um. But. Um, Lilat, she has a pressure. Well, no, Lilat's actually her, probably her worst because needles. Yeah. But her neutral, like, her overall neutral is still strong. Yeah, her, ultra, her overall neutral is strong in every stage. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. Not gonna get the air dodge. Poyo, being an experienced player, knowing. To avoid that, but he gets hit by that forward air. Oh, is that forward third or forward air? I don't know. Uh, yeah, forward third or forward air. Forward yeah. I, I don't know the Sheik's throws. I tried to pick up Sheik and I, I don't even know. <laughs> I used to play Sheik a little bit, so yeah. I know. Gotcha. But yeah, despite this being Smashville, which is... Well, I mean, it's also a great stage for Lucina. Lucina has a lot of killing power off the side. Yep. Um, like like that. that, like that. There you go. Exactly like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, Poyo takes that game one. Um, you know, there wasn't any like two big combos. It was kind of just like neutral the whole game. Um, yeah, it's just mostly neutral between this matchup. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good forward smash read though. Yeah. Those times. So, did Osiris switch? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. No, he has not. He has not switched. Oh, so he's going back to Smashville. See, I would. Well, I feel like Poy or Poyo probably banned FD. Oh, excuse me. Most likely banned FD. Um, FD for Lucina is not at all good. But even if he did that, I'm kind of surprised Osiris didn't go to Town and City. Yeah. Or if the other way around, like if he banned Town and City, he didn't go FD. Right. Town and City at least gives Sheik some good kill power. And also, Osiris showing what he can do with Sheik now. Keeping this, uh... Keeping Poyo Zucina off, off the stage and keeping him in the air. Except right now. Until now. Yeah. Alright. Reset neutral. Yep. Uh, oh. Okay, up B gonna walk to Sheik off stage and he's gonna immediately lose stage control. Up there, not gonna take it. Not quite yet. <laughs> Faded with that up there to get that grab. Right. Didn't get too much off it. Ooh, Ooh almost getting almost the shield. shield. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'll smash again. This isn't gonna take it. Another, another good read coming from Poya. Well, you know, you can die at 40 even. That was also a great read. Uh, read. Good on Osiris. That bouncing fish, like, you know, even though it covers a long distance, it's still a fast move, so it's, like, pretty hard to react to, honestly. Right. Like, people always sleep on that, but, like, sometimes you just gotta randomly throw it out and it works. Um, well, I guess not randomly. He, he knew he was gonna land there, so. Um, but yeah. So we still got a fairly even game going on. Um, okay, Sheik starting a combo. Didn't get much too too much off of it. And, ooh, that was a good. That's a pretty good. <laughs> Fast. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, sometimes it's hard for me to commentate because I don't 
I hardly watch Smash myself. My only knowledge from this game is just from playing. Um, yeah, I could see a character I've never touched in my life and be a loss. Yeah, like, and plus I, I play one character, so like, I pretty much have matchup knowledge for my my character, none for these characters. Yeah. However, I imagine you know both top tiers, you know. And I've jumped around characters, so I currently play Corn, and I know a lot about them. So, yeah. If I see one character that Corn just destroys, I will not know what to do for that entire thing. Um, so yeah, Osiris in the lead. Honestly, Poyo not too far behind because Rage Lucina can kill fairly, very early. Rage Lucina can kill many people at around 40 in the right circumstances. Know. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess any character can kill any character at any percent. Good point. That's the game we play. True. But yeah, Osiris staying very safe. Spacing that forward tilt very well. Going, <laughs> Poyo oh. going for that forward smash. Yep. But uh, Osiris not getting called oh, out by that time. Oh, be reversed. And the SD is going to take it. We hate when that happens. Yeah, it's always a bad feeling. Um, so that's the thing. Poyo's uh, Lucina is fairly new. Um, so I think, again, his, he also means Kirby and Luigi. So, like, or used to mean at least. So yeah. I, I can't imagine he's not used to when you're up these. Because, like, some people, like, are used to like the drift they get with their uppy. Lucina hardly has any drift when you uppy with her. Right. Like she kind of just goes straight up, and then you can get barely any drift. Whereas like yeah. other characters, like you know, let's say you're uh, I don't know, what's the most extreme thing? Like you know, DK, where that's completely horizontal. So. Right. Or for another example, another horizontal, another um, vertical recovery. Born uh, actually. Yeah, yeah, like born, you know. But anyway, going to this last match, um, I'm thinking to go Wily Castle for the counter pick. Um, honestly, I think this is pretty surprising. This is very surprising. I feel like this is not where you usually want to play against Sheik. However, it could just be a comfort pick. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm very tired. <laughs> um, it's understandable. But, uh, <laughs> um,. But even still, Poyo, you know, managing to take to take the lead even on a stage that is pretty good for Sheik. Um, however, Osiris answering back with the combo of his own and uh, evens up the game right there. Yep. Poyo looking for a ledge option to finish off the stock as quick as possible. You know, this might be the best legal stage music of all the stages, I think. Honestly, Mega you're right. Like. That or Dreamland. Dreamland has some pretty good True, music. true. It's between this stage and Dreamland. He just barely recovered there. He really did. <laughs> if you were just a bit too off, you would be dead. Ooh, going oh, for that up smash, up, but that was around. a little up too smash. abrupt. Not, yep. Oh, oh. Not gonna connect Bouncing Fish whatsoever. He's gonna <laughs> go for it again. Cyrus playing pretty aggressively right now, but it seems to be working in his favor. Um, ooh, trying to go for the up air. Didn't really put himself in that bad of a position. He just got faired off stage, which... Yeah. Um, oh, back air. That's going to take it. Ooh. Man, I really thought he was going to live that. Nah, at that yeah. percent, no. Yeah. Um, even still, we've seen at 100 and... One, 150 about that bouncing fish almost taking it, so... Not too far behind. Up, go for a near off stage, trying to get. But oh, up, yep, bouncing once fish. again that bouncing fish read. Like I said before, it's, it's just so it's, it's just so good <laughs> at the right moments. It's it's a quick move. It's hard to react to. Um, because I think like I think I read something before like the average um, the average human reaction time compared to frames. Like if you were to time it in uh, yeah. frames per se 60 frames per second, like it's only reaction time is on average like only 14 is 14 frames, which is kind of a lot or something like that. I think I read that. I don't know. Don't listen to me. <laughs> so it's like when you have a move like this bouncing fish it comes up so quickly. because it's so fast, you only gotta anticipate. 
And if you know me, you know I've shielded that multiple times. Don't even ask how I do it. So Cyrus managing oh, to go up back. Not gonna take it. Yeah, not not quite. Okay. Cyrus managing to take back that lead. Yep, and taking that stage control, losing it from the last best bouncing fish, and now we're back in neutral. Yep. Hopefully there's no depth in making one mistake will cost him this entire set. Ooh. Fourth throw, okay. not gonna go for a bouncing fish this time. Fourth throw, gonna go for a quarter, that's gonna that's take gonna it. That's gonna set. Okay. See, that was kind of risky what he did there. That he jumped up risky. and he, uh, he, um, he needled. And, like, that could have given t uh, time for it. Arca?